Right, this is a tutorial on how to get modern controls from Metal Gear Solid 2 and a showcase of those controls. First, you want to locate your folder for GOG on um, your Metal Gear Solid 2 substance folder. Go under Ben, and you should have Metal Gear Solid 2 set up here if you use V's Fix. If not, get V's Fix, put the file here, and let's go in the file. Under settings, everything's fine. The main thing to configure is the controller, so. This configuration uses keyboard and mouse, so use the default keyboard layout. And on game pads, use V's type, which is more useful for configuration. All right. Um, after you do that, you should click on the Steam logo aside to automatically add Metal Gear Solid 2 to Steam. Do that if you haven't already. Save and exit. Wow, I've done that twice. Once you're here. Make sure that the target is this file and not the setup file. And then go under controller configuration. And you should find the lonely community config. And if not, there if not, a link to it will be in the description. Now let's go back. Back. I already have it done, so let's just showcase it. Right, um, sorry for the cut. Here's a little showcase of the controls. So, left stick is to move, but now the D-pad is to stock, like in Metal Gear Solid 3. And I think this is more useful. Because it's pretty hard to just... It, right there, yeah. Um, next up. All that's the same, you can open lockers the same. Get in the same. Whatever. Now, you notice that my triggers did not do what they were supposed to do, and that's because the triggers have new functions. Hey, that's just because I forgot that I changed the triggers and I actually need to press these buttons. Yeah, so right trigger will attack, left trigger will aim and run at the same time, and pressing right trigger at any point will shoot, and you'll keep aiming. And you can spam left trigger, do anything you want, and snake or ride and will not shoot, no matter what you do. Alright, um, first person mode. Let go, first person mode might be buggy sometimes, so if there's ever a problem, just press R free, and I'll fix everything. Shoot this guy in the head. Keep running. Yeah, this mode really allows you to just keep running with the gun open. What do I want to showcase? Alright, um, in order to auto-aim, just hold, hold down your stick, and you'll auto-aim. Freeze. <gasps> and, oh yeah, and you can also use the... Jesus, this guy's really messing me up. You can also use the uh, the right stick for leaning while in first person. Whatever. Oh. Yeah, I'm not very good at flips, but anyway, we're still in very easy, so it doesn't even matter. What I like doing here is just to get caught. What I like to do here is just to get caught. I can barely see anything. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, my toolbar is blocked and everything. I get whatever. <laughs> this, this, this is just too easy. Let me show a box trick. I love the box trick in this game. Because it's pretty... There's only a short window of time where you can do it. Unlike... Uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, or that's just an inbuilt trick. Like, th this trick is like... I mean, I guess you can get good at it. Let's see, is he awake? Yes, he is. How, how did he not see me? Hmm? Now, last time I tried this, I forgot the controls are different, so... And that's the box. Thanks for watching. Wrong button. And have a good time. Just. Yep, thanks for watching. And have a good time.